So after a week of break, we're finally back at it because Mr. it's that time. It's that time of the week and it's TLF and it's about time that we're going to be looking probably at maybe the last range DPS for Mythic Plus before the big fucking nerfs are coming around, could, man. Could possibly be it. We're, we're looking at all of these range boys because it's been a month since the last time and things have definitely changed as these players and playing these specs have pushed higher and higher keys. There has been some discrepancies between all of the specs, some fell down i think most fell down and i think maybe one or two got up it's very very interesting because this time around we looked at the highest score possible mixed oh, yeah. with the highest keys made as well so there's like a, a what, what would you say a Tried cocktail. To, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice little cocktail. We try to blend as much as possible, trying to look at the top players. There are a couple of exceptions, players that are destroying the higher, higher keys, but there's only like one or two of them. So yeah. it's hard to put like a spec in a tier based off of one or two players. So we're, we're kind of like doing the best general approach to it so that you can know exactly what's what. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you mentioned, this is Mythic Plus, boys and girls, so don't you forget, okay? It's range DPS and Mythic Plus, oh, yeah. it's been a, a long time ago. And we, we've been doing our fair share of keys, obviously not at fucking 3.3K or whatever, but we're doing our fair share. And I, this this one time I was like playing with the boys and stuff and I was uh, checking out Warcraft Love for a different, different Paladin build, because I was kind of getting bored with all of the procs and stuff. <laughs> and lo and behold, uh, just, you know, cycling through all of the players listed there i saw one dude who's still playing final wreck still Reckoning. yeah i mean i was surprised because you, you don't really play that anymore in uh, mythic plus but then i clicked on his profile and looked and he was like clearing 25s and stuff and final reckoning all the way even with the tier set and stuff and i said you know fuck it let's just try it out you know see how it goes and uh what do you know <laughs> i was like wrecking the mirrors with it and it was like because the thing is, like, when you when you were doing kids with the boys and stuff, it's like you cannot really expect them to wait for you all the time to like just alt tab and go on Warcraft logs and check builds and all of that, right? So with the app, you know, just having it open it up within the game, looked at it really fast, changed the talent, boom, there you go. You know, we cannot be more happy to have uh, Warcraft logs uh, app sponsoring the video. I mean, it's it helps us tremendously because we make use of it a lot, and uh, it will help the channel out a lot if you download the app from the description oh, yeah. i mean it's a win-win right it's a win-win it's a easy to go is it a fix thank you workout vlogs for sponsoring the video and now let's get into the affliction warlock the crown jewel of the, this uh, tier the, list the what oh jewel my god i don't know what language you speak man but crown jewel <laughs> means something else in my english yeah, i was being uh, it's, it's uh, what you call rhetorical Sarcastic. Maybe sarcastic. <laughs> rhetorical. No, um, well, to, sorry, be, to be fair with you guys, so Affliction is is all right. Right now, the top Afflictions are like way over 3K. Uh, they're clearing 25s-ish, I believe, 24s, 25s-ish. It's clearly not the best performing spec of the season. Not However, right. it is holding its own. It's kind of hard to, you know, compete with all the rest. And Affliction right now, unfortunately, is D tier. Yeah. If, but, you know, I mean, D tier and compared to all the other specs. If we have to compare with all the other specs, we could probably put it into an F tier that doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, it's still it's still doing 20s and higher. It won't reach the higher echelons or like mid-range high, like 27s, 20s, something like that. Probably won't reach unless we see some buffs, which is kind of sad. But if you do love Affliction and you want to play it, if you want to get KSM, it's more than enough. If you want to get into some 20s, you can do that and then eventually figure out you want to switch to Destro. Yeah, but the reality is, yeah, everybody's going to switch to Destro because that's how just the things are. You know, Destro is a beast. We're going to get to it shortly. Sorry for the affliction, boys. This hasn't changed since last month. It's still a D tier, the weakest performance spec out of all of the range DPS. Moving along to a proper <laughs> crown jewel, uh, okay? Dude, all right. Uh, Arcane mages which I, I remember last time we were looking at it it was an a tier was really really good but i've seen some big ass scores it's, on this man. it's weird it's weird because uh, it's still a tier but this this it's there's doing, definitely some it's some doing pumps. way better and weirdly enough and we're gonna get to that eventually but weirdly enough it has better score than other specs this is the weirdest thing uh, so so uh sydney bond is basically leading the charge as the best arcane mage in the world in mythic plus statistically, statistically. Um, and he is essentially destroying all the 28s and 29s at the moment that's pr pretty much where arcane is right now and is uh he's doing more 
varied 28s and 29s than other specs that you might see here or higher ranked, which was yeah. a little bit weird. But I think I think Arcane is a sleeper spec, man. I think people yeah, are people not are giving it, on it for sure, giving it credit. And it's likely that if in season four, because we get a lot of questions about this, Destro is going to be nerfed into the ground. I wouldn't be surprised if Arcane rises pretty high, close, if not actually S tier. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's you know, looking at all of the mage specs so far, they're all performing pretty well, and you're gonna see when we get to to the last of them, you know, Fire and Frost. It's it's very, I would say, very very cool upper upwards trajectory for Arcane. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it too much though. You're gonna see when we get to the other mage specs, but regardless, super super potent spec, and it's doing amazing. Higher score than some of the classical meta mages. Yeah. Um, okay, BM Hunters, which BM um, used to be, uh, I, I believe it was B tier uh, a month ago, but since like the... the it's, it's still good. Uh, I think right now we're putting it into D tier, but that's not because it dropped or got nerfed. It's just that I the specs that... C tier, that, not D tier. Uh, oh, C tier, yeah. right, right. Uh, it's just that the specs that it was together with in B tier are doing a little bit better than it right now. However, I still feel like BM is an underrated spec. It's doing really well. It's holding its own in the 26s, 27s, maybe even 28s range, uh, which is, I mean, it's it's pretty high. Let's let's be honest here. So BM is doing really good. Obviously, no, um, there's still there's still the argument where where most of these hunter mains are playing survival, right? This is like one of those situations where if you if you look at the highest keys and highest times and highest scores, the hunter spec will be survival. So the fact that you're seeing BM and marksman marksman, which is very good, uh, it implies that hey, it can still be done, but not quite at the same level. And this is why maybe the placement is as it is right now, because the, the hunter population kind of like uh, migrated to survival. Still being in C tier is no joke. Yes, it dropped from B tier, but this, this is this because a lot of these specs have pushed more and more keys and got higher and higher score. And... Uh, one of these specs that <laughs> here we go. Uh, no, okay. Now I'm not gonna trash him. Okay, it, it it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it, it it retained its position. So Boomkin, okay, Boomkin was B tier last time. It's still B tier, which is a, a lot to say when when we're talking about this spec since it has reigned supreme for the longest time in Mythic Plus. Performance wise, better than than definitely better than Affliction. Uh, uh, I would say a tad better than than BM. I'm thinking that's, looking. That's that's what I was saying. Um, uh, I think in the last year that we had B, uh, BM and Boomy were doing kind of similar keys, but now Boomkin surprisingly is doing one or two uh, levels higher than BM, which is why it's in a in a higher tier as well. This was slightly surprising because as far as uh, we know, Feral is the Druid DPS spec of the season, not by a lot. <laughs> Ferals are not well, going to be happy with that either, but that's fine. That's something to say. <laughs> but uh, Boomy, surprisingly, is kicking some butt. Kicking some butt in the 27-ish range, 28s. Yeah. Who knows by the time uh, this video is out, maybe they've been clearing a uh, key higher. Yeah, and we're looking at Boomkis here who are, who are kind of like uh, ranging between the 3.6, 3.7 uh, uh, IO score. And it, it's pretty high, man. I mean, we didn't touch on this at all, but even like when you see Affliction in detail, that's still like 3.3 uh, average yeah. scores for these players pretty much so uh, no point on trashing uh, if uh, you know if you're still struggling with i don't know 2.8 2.9 or whatever now let's move along to uh, one one of our sweethearts i would say the Ooh. demo warlocks uh which have been doing absolutely great throughout the season and they're still kicking but i mean okay let's not just wait and longer it's it's on eight tier uh, still, I, I remember they were in front of A tier last month. Yeah, but they were now... leading. They were leading a charge. They're not actually behind too much right now. I would imagine people just focus a little bit more on this road this time around. However, what a shock! Eh? Demo <laughs> is giving uh, so far Arcane, but we'll see a little bit later. But Demo is giving uh, the mage specs a run for their money, man. Which is uh, leads back to uh, to what uh, we talked about previously. If Destro gets enough to the ground, Demo is going to be the supreme the warlock, warlock spec. spec. Yeah. And it's not like uh, oh, Demo's the next best best in slot, like you know, way down at the bottom. And Demo is doing really good, and I actually don't know exactly how 
demo would be comparing itself to the mage specs if distro wasn't in the picture because likely if you don't have a distro in your team you're probably gonna revert to a mage spec it has time warp it has the mage uh, you know it has a couple uh, kind of pluses, yeah. but if the the top distros will be playing demo i wouldn't be surprised if demo would be above in front of all of the other ranges. yeah but guess. this would be strictly in terms of like population and representation yeah. who knows uh, who knows how, how things will change up you gotta remember season four will also involve a couple of other pieces of gear which may or may not change the position of some of these specs Could be. Could be. Uh, but you know just judging by how things are looking now for sure you know with the distro nerfs coming to season four uh demo is going to take the the spot still very good place here we're talking about 3.8 you know 28s and all of that but that being said let's just get it over with this right. pro warlock enjoy hey, it possibly guess, guess where this spec goes for possibly for the last time uh, uh rejoice okay. as uh destros are actually in the 4.1k io score right now which is not what <laughs> Class uh, so yeah, but the putting them that, that high, but yeah, the the distros are basically the range DPS that are clearing 32s. I, I bet people that are not logging their keys are, are trying to do 33s right now. For sure. Uh, and obviously the range DPS of choice would be the distro warlock and in the top, top, top highest keys uh, with the, the best teams, um, you only really have distro as the range DPS there, which is why it's probably going to be sitting alone in S tier. We'll see. Um, and cause obviously the other party members would be a survival and a windwalker. So clearly Destro is a notch above everybody else. We don't know exactly how much the nerfs will affect destruction. It could just put it in line with everybody <laughs> else. Cause it's kind of stupid. I really hope they don't nerf it into the ground, but likely but ner nerfs are necessary for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a bit ridiculous uh, right now. I mean, the, the performance, like the, the numbers are just out there. They're, they're bonkers. No, it's no surprise. You know, it's, it's S tier and has been S tier for the longest time this season things will change in season four for sure hope again yes i'm sharing the same hopes here i mean it's never a good thing when they like just make a spec like un unviable like you look at, at affliction right now it's like yeah it's viable but compared to like what destro does oh man there's this yeah, really no comparison <laughs> it's, it's not not even close and the discrepancies uh, it's disheartening to see but hopefully the balance can be nailed a little bit better yeah okay next up elemental shaman who uh, has been b tier last time it kind of dropped into c tier but this is like in no way telling that you know the, the spec got worse or whatever once again it's the same argument some of the the other specs that were into b tier got a little bit more higher keys pushed down scores have been risen and uh, i think right now we're looking at even a poorer performance than bm um it's they're, they're actually very, very close they're, yeah. they're very close they're like 10 or 20 points uh apart from each other clearing the almost the exact same keys um it's hard necessarily to tell how good elemental is because it doesn't really feel like elemental does bring a lot of you know remarkable uh, I mean, utility to to the group that you, can you would talk need. about a lot of utility i think at this point oh no, it has but i don't know if it's yeah, necessary it, it, it doesn't seem like it's mandatory let's put it like that yeah uh, it's very nice to have uh but also performance wise i mean again uh strictly judging it by a numbers game performance wise it was always decent never went too too high never went too low at least th this season uh it can deal the massive damage can do the super aoe's uh, super bursty stuff but again you have in front of you specs like you know fire mage frost mage arcane mage all of the mage specs you know you have the the warlocks demo and distro it's hard to compete with that and even bm to some extent got maybe a couple of keys higher one or two points over there so this is why it's in c tier but again we're looking at a an average score of three Point six uh, IO, you know, with, with 25s and 26. Some some logs even shows 27s for elemental. So it's still good, but in terms of like the highest of the highest, it's in a C tier. Now a former <laughs> S tier uh, spec. Um, Fire okay. mage. All right. Well, let's talk about the former bit. Uh, the reason why previously we had it into S tier was because in the highest level of keys, uh, you would pair Destro with the Fire Mage here and there. But right now, it seems like it's much better to not have the Fire Mage in the highest, the highest of keys, which is why right now it's in A tier. It's A. A but notch it's in, the, in the front. A notch <laughs> above Arcane, which uh, this is a th th they're very close now the thing with fire is that fire at least from the the top logs that we've been able to see fire isn't clearing all keys at the same level there, he, fire is like really good in a specific number of keys which is putting it really high 
to, to burst those barriers. However, I feel like overall, overall for the entire meta, Arcane might be doing a slight better job. However, we are looking at what's better. Fire is probably a little bit better now. And it's likely going to be the top dog range spec, no questions asked, in yeah. Season 4, if things are looking to be shaped the way that they are right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's, uh, as as the month passed, and, uh, you know, this for locks got even higher and higher and higher. This At this point, there's, like, a, a, a bit too much of a bad difference that can be made between the two specs, right? Um, good argument there. You've seen, in the last month, you've seen, like, uh, a lot of teams playing Destro and Fire Mage in the same group. Not anymore. Uh most of the majority of the specs either have a distro windwalker and survival or one of the mage specs windwalker survival uh, but it's clear that the majority of teams prefer the distro lock so this is why fire mage kind of yeah. got you know pulled down a bit but it's not like you know oh my god it's bad it's, or anything it's been noted <laughs> that fire mage does very close damage to survival hunter which is a big feat um, however, it's much more difficult to pull off and it's much more restrictive than survival because you do have to keep things into flame patch. So that's that's a very strong consideration. Oh, yeah. Fire Mage, I don't know how Fire Mage was in season one and season two. You played it, but right now Super it's, it's uh, for me, it's one of the most difficult specs to play properly in Mythic Plus. It's very difficult. Oh, no, I remember it, it was always like this. You know, people, people who never understood the spec always gave me shit like, oh, man, you're playing Fire Mage. That's like three bonus spec. Okay, my man. You, you, <laughs> You do no. you, it's, fine. it's not. No, you need you need really good muscle memory uh, for it and good yeah. timing to, yeah, to pull it off. So, uh, okay, enough about fire mage. Let's go to the 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 to brother the from another boy. mother, the boy. frost mage. Which uh, surprise, surprise, this was the meta spec in 9.1, 9.1.5. Uh, still, 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 it's still, still doing dominant really good. in 9.2, but I was. I don't know. I love all of the mage specs, but I was kind of happy to see it. Harkin having just a nudge in front of it. It's still late. That, that, that okay. was weird. I guess I guess this is kind this of is exciting. Like the thing. Okay, so I we mean, got to this. It was this kind of the same last year as well, but right now Arkin feels like it's consistently better. I think last time we looked purely at score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um however Arkin right now is like pumping keys and frost. Um there are a couple of people right now, the, the top top frost mage boys that are being taken into their 31s and potential 32s as well. But they're not clearing 31s and 32s across the board, whereas Arcane feels like it's clearing a little bit more across the board. Yeah. Um, so it's likely that Frost just brings the good utility that no, and similar to Fire Mage, uh, the good uh, utility that you really need for specific dungeons, which actually maybe uh, is an argument in its favor when it comes to utility. I mean, no other spec has constant, constant slows. It's sure. easy to kite, easy to like have a little breather. Oh, I need 10 more seconds to get my shield wall up as a tank. I'm just gonna step back a little bit. Everything is slowed by the time they reach me, I get my defensive back. That's something that pretty much only Frost Mage can do. And you can see that in the in the types of keys that Frost is clearing right now. Yeah, it's it's um I mean the <clears throat> apart from that, you know, the, the consistency of the spec always got it through like uh, after the buffs that we see for 9.1 and moving forward, it became a lot more consistent. You can talk about, you know, uh, still a couple of glaring issues here and there on uh, uh fortified uh fortified not fortified uh bolstering, uh, bolstering yeah. Uh, single target sure, but I think like, one of the main strong points for frost mages was always this high consistency aoe and cleave plus the fact that you can always keep all of the mobs slow down you know that's one of the biggest thing as flame mentioned however we have seen higher scores and higher keys made by the other specs so there you go it's a weird situation with the main specs i gotta say because you will see uh two or three keys made by frost this mages is... at the highest end but then you're gonna see a one on top that's arcane, then on below the frost mages again <laughs> a ton of arcane. It's it's weird, yeah, man. It's very I weird. Mean, if you look at it, I think this is the first time ever that oh, we've yeah. had all the specs from the class in yeah. the same team. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't remember say that the last time. Maybe yeah. mage across the board as a class is the most balanced class, at least in terms of Mythic Plus, is the mm -hmm. most balanced class in the game, which is Man, if you're a mage right now, you're you're probably happy no matter what spec you play. Exactly. Okay. Uh, marksmanship hunter uh, which Ooh. has been uh, pretty good uh, again performing performance wise it's been b tier last month it's still a b tier right now i think it's doing a, a, a tad better than boomkin well considering uh, so you look at marksmanship right and it's really below the mages and the demos and you look at what keys mages and demos are clearing and you're like and you're saying like man marksman is, is like really yeah. kicking it up with the big boys over exactly. there it's it's surprising it's it's obviously something that a lot of people overlook because it does uh, share the same class as survival 
survival. Um, however, obviously, if survival will be nerfed, we don't know yet what nerfs will be up. But whenever it does get hammered down like it probably deserves, uh, likely Marksman will be the top dog hunter spec once again. And it has been consistently above average the entire expansion. It was dominating oh, yeah. in Season 1. It was decent in Season 2. And now in Season 3, it's just above average as well. Better than Boomies. Better than uh, BMs and the Elementals as well. So Yeah, I mean, if you don't don't necessarily prefer the, the playstyle of survival and you don't like it or you just uh, still want to be that range hunter, um, I think like the clear choice would be Marksman rather than BM just because it, it its performance is is it's great and it has been there there has been no major tuning for hunter throughout the expansion for marksman I'm, I'm referring to and it, it retained its position regardless yeah sure there were times where it was s tier there were times where it was a tier but right now we're still looking at 3.7k a lot of io scores on, on that range and you know 27 yeah it, it, it's great now last on the list uh we have shadow priest which once uh, Again, uh, another spec that used to be in B tier last month, and now it dropped into C tier. Um, is it is it better than? It's, or, it's it's still the same. I mean, nothing really changed for Shadow and uh, same performance, more or less. It's, yeah. it's just that the other specs are doing a little bit better than they were last time. And Shadow, BM, and Elemental now are the the consistent boys, the yeah. the, the the same level boys. Unfortunately, they haven't been addressed uh, by uh, by the devs. Not not Affliction as well either. But it's still it's still okay you can do 20s i mean one of our biggest patrons uh, san is, uh, san is working on it. his 25s as a shadow priest so it's possible you can definitely do it it might be a little bit harder but you do bring like tools that no other spec brings to your party yeah, and it's it's one of those specs where you know once you've understood it and then played it correctly you you fall in love with it immediately sure it does require a little bit more work to pull off and manage and all of that and uh we we always said this you know part part of the the situation because it, it i don't think it, it lacks the damage numbers or whatever it just lacks the efficiency and speed of which you get to those numbers as compared to like destro or fire but you know, uh, no, no, I promised myself I'm not going to trash any of these specs. You, you saw I didn't <laughs> talk shit about you, Bumpkin. You were, you were very yeah. well behaved today, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. scared. I don't Although know. Although the instinct is there. I said, there there's okay, some bullets in the chamber, man. Yeah, yeah there, there's definitely there. But this is the, the final image of what we have after a month of, of all of these specs, like pushing higher and higher keys. Obviously, there has been some drop downs and we can basically talk about most of the specs dropping down apart from... Uh, Destro, who has just uh, taken more of the lead and eating the biggest piece of the of yeah. the pie. This is kind <laughs> of like an overall look at what everybody has accomplished so far in season three. It's different depending on how you look at it. If you look at post 925, when uh, the other change has been addressed, some specs are higher, some specs are lower. If you look at, uh, let's say, the last week's affixes, I think we're going to have a sub creation tier list uh, generated by their data. You can see a different situation where Arcane is like really down below and BM is way lower than it should be as well and obviously you know things change it depends on how you look at it but overall yeah. I think it's it's in a good state clearly the, the difference between this and affliction is a little bit too high it shouldn't be this high but everybody can do way higher keys than last time I remember yeah. in BFA when people were struggling. No, in BFA had, had a lot more di discrepancies <clears throat> between the specs when, when you're looking at Mythic Plus rankings. So this just goes to show you can play whatever you want to play and love and you'll be just fine, okay? This is just an indicator of what the highest of the highest uh, players and at the highest level are doing, uh, but this is a direct reverberation of whatever spec you want to pull out. If you master it right, talking about Affliction Warlock specifically here, you can still do like 24s and 25s, no problem, and get that 3k score, no problemo. Now, the biggest score Oof. in the world is for our Patreons, and you know that there's, there can never be a high score. Thank you guys for supporting the videos and, and the content that we do. Appreciate and it. Special shout out once again for the Warcraft Logs app. It's been helpful for us in all capacities of oh, yeah. the game, you know, rating and Mythic Plus. We use it all the time when we're playing, and we highly recommend you guys download the app and make use of it and, and try to use at least builds that you can find over there and trying different stuff like i did or just you know look, look at potential i don't know players you're going to play with because you can see that as well over there the, the keys that they did and whatnot it's great so thank yep. you warcraft logs for thank you very much helping us and thank you for watching the video you shall have the greatest weekend that has ever been <laughs> this summer all right all right all right take it easy bye see you next time
I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wild well. Still, I play wild well. Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wild well. Still, I play wild well. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play wild well.